My wife said you aren't even listening to me, are you? That's a weird way to start a conversation. I can't remember what I got up to with the hideout. Oh, I was crafting the thing for the, um, the other thing. Now, we should have enough. Oh, we need two bolts. We need to go in and find two bolts to get the uh, Lucky Scav junk box. Righto. Pestily moist, pestily moist, pestily moist. We've got the weirs there. There's something else we had ready to go, almost. Oh, we need two more relays. Two relays and bolts. It's pretty obvious where we're going to head now. Interchange. Um... Blood sets. Oh, we needed fuel for the blood sets. I don't think we've got any fuel in there. No. You can make fuel, can't you? Oh. Alright. <laughs> it's a lot of lighters. Um, all right, repair that. Actually, I'm probably... I don't have any ammo for the TT, so that can go. Go lab smile. So we don't have... Oh, we do have ammo for the Makarov, though. So we might take get the Makarov for now. Um, I would love to get a... a, a uh, we've got so much shit. Do I want to take the MPX, or do I want to take... I really want to survive this raid and get this shit done. We're going in geared. I've decided. Pestily mask, pestily mask, pestily mask, pestily star two, pestily star one. We're going in geared. We're getting shit done. I might sell these two shotguns. I don't really want to sell guns though. All right, we could sell that. Um, we could sell that. We don't need that. Sell that. Come those stack. No, different sizes. Oh, we did have ammo for the. Uh... Yep. Right. So all I need to do now is get rid of that Mosin. I'll put the Mosin somewhere. Well, if we put that in there for now. One more spot. Alright, we're good to go. We're going into interchange. We need two things. We need the bolts. And we need... Relays. Bolts and relay. Interchange. Who are we talking about? Alright, so there's a YouTube channel in Australia called Youngbloods YBS. And uh, his name's Brody, and he does fishing. But he also, he just happens to always have attractive women. Either live near him, or dating him. Like, one of his girlfriends was a Playboy model, and his, uh... His most recent neighbours are just four... Exotic women from Argentina. Literary paid actors. <laughs> <laughs> who were just moved in next door because they can't travel due to COVID. And, um... Oh, and... His dad sent him a message saying they were looking for bikes to ride. 
Or to buy. <laughs> Crack up. His dad's obviously the best wingman in the world. I need to move to Argentina. I don't think my wife would like that, though. Cheers, mate. <laughs> if anyone is watching this hardcore episode on YouTube, go search Youngbloods. And uh, he's, a he's actually amazing YouTube videos. Really interesting vlogs and just, he's just a cool dude. He's the kind of dude that you just wish you could always hang out with. And he's living, he's living the dream. Fishing all day. He's now got a really epic boat. He's got two epic boats, actually. And, um... This is hardcore, yeah. Maybe, maybe I'll fly, fly into WA and then just, just conveniently have to move next door to him. We got the fuel. One of three objectives done. I'm half tempted to go out the front, check the, the hidden stashes on the way out, and extract that way, and not overcommit to this run. You know, like get just get one under our belt when we start. You know, you know what I mean by that. Like, have a small little win. Don't need to overdo it. Relays and bolt. Oh, we need screws too. Love you, pest. Pestly moist. I missed more fuel. Not too worried about fuel. What was that? I know, oh it's gonna be sick.
Why would you throw away the filters? Um, because they're trash. You can do the hardcore account at the start of the next warp. So, my plan is to. My plan is to. Um... That was really bad of me. To start the hardcore series very early on and then just like. Maybe. 12 hours a week. Um, do the hardcore challenge. I'm still in Europe. Yeah, I think I think hardcore would be best done over the period of a wipe, not just at the end of a wipe, because the people I'm running into are like really geared or stuff like that, and it'd be kind of cool to start it earlier on. So the plan next wipe, it's going to be take a lot of scheduling out of myself to do it, but I almost want to make it that you guys will know what's going to be happening on each stream. So, you know, the first two hours of the stream might be hardcore. And then for the next six hours, it'll be my main account. Or hardcore for two hours, main account for four hours, and, and duos until I feel like finishing. Something along the lines of that would be pretty cool. Um, and keep a bit of a structure like that. I definitely want to incorporate duos into my stream more. This is the end of the wipe. Um, I would argue that this is the period of the time of time where the only people you're really running into is people that started late into the wipe, and then mostly level forty pluses. I think a large amount of people right now are of level forty plus of active players. Th at least thirty plus, but large amount are uh, a forty plus. For active players. Like I was filming raid episodes this morning. And I, I don't think I killed anyone below the level of 30. Level 32 casual here. But like. You know what I mean? Like if you've been playing casually since the start of the wipe. That, that aligns up with what I just said. Oh, marked key. 1.1 and less than 3. We're getting out of here. I don't want to get sniped. Looks like we're doing some customs. Got to get ourselves a key tool. Key tool, containers, ah, oh. customs. I have not got past online mode yet. What do you mean? Um, but yeah, I definitely want to incorporate a lot more structure into my stream and moving forward. So you guys can be like, oh, on Thursdays he's going to be doing this and this, and on Fridays he's going to be doing this and this. I think that would, I think that would be more beneficial for everyone. 
myself because I'll be more structured. I'll know what's coming up. I'm not kind of a little bit aimless during some of my streams. And then for you guys, when you enjoy something more than something else, you actually know, you know, when you're going to find it happening. Like if you're really keen on duos, you know that on, well, on Thursdays, Pestilio will be doing duos with Slash Puppy or on Friday, he'll be out fishing. What do you think about doing a duo with a new streamer on Taco to give him a small boost? Um, I wouldn't do it to boost his numbers. I would do it because I like him. Like, that, that would be the reason I do it. I think, um, like, I'm big on community, and I, and I think I've, I've kind of proven that over the uh, last few years, but I don't think it's overly healthy for a stream. It's not right. Not the right wording. I think it's more beneficial for a stream to grow over a period of time than get a sudden, sudden surge. Um, I think there's a lot of value and what's the word like good habits that you can form from growing a stream naturally over a period of time. Now, Landmark worked hard. Like I hosted him. And uh, when he was not even an affiliate, but he he worked hard and built it up over time. The the one thing that see Landmark kind of suffered from is because he actually grew so rapidly, but it was an even progression. Um, I think for me, I got a lot of my first moderators from when I had less than thirty viewers. So all my like nearly all my moderators used to watch me before I had thirty viewers, and then there's been period of times I've expanded that that moderator base. Um, but it's been as a streamer, it's been really good because I know the, who they are. I, I know... Because the coolest thing about being a streamer, for me, is learning about people and, and hearing their stories and building friendships and, and relationships. So, um, there's... there's uh, like, I know where all my moderators are from. Um, I know, you know, what they've done or do or did for a living. Like, I know all that kind of stuff. And it's... I started streaming to grow, grow friendships and stuff, so... Somehow I need to fit this stuff into the stash. That was too successful. Um, and if you, and if you were to grow, goddamn, six months already. Thanks for the six months, man. If you were to grow too rapidly, I think you'd you'd skip that step of growing those relationships and those friendships. And I don't think it would be detrimental to your career, but you you're almost skipping a stage where you where you are. If I, if I could probably say it, it's probably one of the most enjoyable times of my streaming career was making all those friends and that. It's a lot harder to make friends now. Like, I know, like, for example, Tor. Tor is fucking forcing himself upon me. Like, it is borderline over the line. But, like, I know who Tor is now. All right? You know what I mean? Like, he is here every day. He is talking nonstop. But, like... Unless a viewer like is here every day and all that, it's they people do slip under the radar a little bit, um, which is fine. But like now, I can have that banter with him. Um, whereas like you know, there's 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 some really great viewers out there that I they probably talk every day and I and I I don't unfortunately I don't know who they are and I don't know anything about them, which sucks because I wish I could learn everything about all my viewers. Not everything. Like there's some things I don't want to know. But, like, you get the point. It'd be nice to know more about my viewers. And that's why I try my best to reply to DMs and all that stuff. Um, and listen, and I, I try to read as much as I can out of chat. Fuck, what am I going to do with all this shit? Uh, mm, we've got too much stuff. All right, we need a purge. What items don't we need? We don't need another. Oh, no, we do need the hand drill still. Sell some gun parts. These are so we can actually make the AK. What gun parts are you talking about? The sight? Put ammo in mag. I don't think we have enough mags. 
to really make that worthwhile. Best loved that you raised one million for the kids. You well deserve my sub. Thanks, man. Um. Got to love your hardcore challenge. Normal Tarkov is enough for me to continue what you're doing, mate. Thank you. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'll put these fuels into the generator. How far am I off making scab blocks? I just need some, um... What's that blurry? Yeah. I just need... Um... Some bolts now. We need more tubes. Chat. More tubes. Oh, we've got two. Good. Um, I suppose we could put that in there and then take the pistol grip off this. This is like really pushing it to the limits, eh? Hey? We really need to get that stash upgrade and also the scav junk box. We're so close to both of them. Pestily still have not got past offline mode yet. What is this online mode you are talking about? Ah. Uh, so didn't mean to be a little slow, maybe? Maybe I'm a little slow. Pestily moist, pestily moist, pestily moist, pestily moist, pestily moist, pestily moist, pestily moist. Um, there is an upgrade that does need toolkits though. Maybe it's workbench. Yeah, we need three toolkits for the workbench, so I can't sell them. I'm trying to get level 20 for mechanic. And I, I, do I have the reputation yet? I do. So I just need level 20 and I can do some more hideout upgrades too. So leveling up. What we could do. See, I don't want to lose the... I want to go in with armor. But it, I could actually put this into the stash. Oh, we've got this armor though. Right. How, will we, how do we make this work? So we need to make it so I can fit that somewhere. Maybe we'll sell some PSMO, because we don't need that much PSMO. PS, PS, PS. PS. Right. And then we put that like that. And all we need to do now... Well, technically, what I could do is put stuff into here for now. I put that there and I put that on. Then I need to put another rig on. Something like that. Doesn't take up as much space. But then I put in this like here. And I can put all this in here. They go there. Um, and then I put that here, this goes here, that goes there, I sell both of them. I put that there, and then we're good to go again. Alright, 
We are not coming out unless we have. All right, we need to make a shopping list. We are not coming out unless we have. Two bolts. Four screws. One Vaseline. Four boy screws. One boy Vaseline. Two boy bolts. What else? We got the fuel. Or oh, relays, two by relays. We do need one by LedX and one by Off Lamos. Oh. And four by Argentinian neighbors. All right, cool. Ready? Let's go. So I want to go into Ollie, but in order to do that, I have to kill like seven players. Felt licensing would be an issue. Just rename them all different names. Like instead of Shrek, it'd be like Beck. And instead of like the gingerbread man, it'd be disguised toast. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of feel like I should have gone into the tech stores because I was. I felt like I kind of had the lead. Focus Pest still tech stores don't have bolts, but they got relays, man. We don't need motors. We have we have enough. Look how many corrugated hose I'm getting now. It's annoying. I was struggling so hard to find corrugated hoses, now I'm finding them everywhere. Hit the toolboxes from here to power. I'm working on it. If we went and got like one Vaseline, I think we'd have everything we need for the med kit too.
One. Ah, 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 ah. If you had to choose between Pepsi and Coke or Cola, I'd probably be Coke. Every time I have Pepsi, it's usually usually with KFC. Because every time I used to get a Zinger Burger, it used to come with a Pepsi. But I would prefer Coke. I drink beer. I, I I like to drink rum as well. Spice uh, spice rum. Kraken's usually my uh, my go-to drink now these days. No pun intended, but with crack straight into it. What I like to drink, man. I mostly drink Australian beers, so you guys wouldn't really know them. Um, James Squire is usually my go-to. There's the bolt. That was that, uh, in Goshen. I'm half tempted to, to leave the raid. No one in Australia drinks Foster's, guys. No one. Yes, they do. No, they don't. Heaps of people drink Greater Northern. Fosters used to be, um, used to be back in the day when people used to drink Fosters and Crownies all the time. No one drinks Crownies anymore. No one drinks Fosters anymore. Everyone's moved past that. It's all Greater Northern, 4X, like your pub drinks, Carlton Draft. Um, what was the, there's that new Carlton one that a lot of people drink as well. Tui's, Tui's is really popular. Carlton Dry, that's the one. A lot of people drink Carlton Dry now. 
No one drinks Fosters. No one goes to the pub and go, Yeah, give us a pint of Fosters. No one fucking does it. VB is still really popular. I think VB is the only one who's, who's really... VB and Forex are the only ones that are really... Handled the test of time well. All your Fosters and Crownies and all them, they're all kind of... Is Fosters a lager as well? Maybe it's because a lot of people have gone off lagers then. Because Crownies is a lager as well. I, I literally never see anyone drinking that shit anymore. Even at the cricket. And they forced it on you at the cricket. I know why they went into like plastic cups at the footy and, and the cricket and that. But I really wish they didn't. I used to like it when you used to have a beer at the cricket out of a can or a bottle. That shit was awesome. Now. People can't be trusted. Can't make a cup snake at the cricket from hands. You can't. It used to be wizard sticks. Call my cup snake. <laughs> wizard sticks. Well, we got the um, we got the bolts that we needed. Glorious. Somehow slide them in somewhere. Now I think we needed those bolts for the. Alright, so they're empty. What the fuck is this inventory? Don't you mind. You fucking sit down. Shut up. There's been a lot of effort to get to this point. 12 hours. 11 hours. Oh, we're going to be onto it. That was a lot of effort. I'm not going to lie. That was a lot of effort. In the past, he's just buy it. Now look at all this room. Look at all this room. I got a square there. I got a square here. Oh, Billy. So much room. All right, now that we got that one out of the way, what's next? What's next? Oh, my Lord. Marked room? I kind of want to get another container sorted. I really want to get um, the relays, the relays, Vaseline's and screws. All right. So let me put it in perspective. So we get the four screws. We've got the stash upgrade. That's massive, right? 24 hours time, massive upgrade. Uh, the relays were for the generator, which gives us more room. 
mostly because I can, you know, hand this stuff in, but then also we can add extra fuel in there as well. So we can store fuel in there. Um, this one's crafting us these. We've got enough to make more, but we just need Vaseline and then we can buy a med box. Because this after the second lot of blood set craft, all we need is one Vaseline. We can make a med box. What if you got a med case there? What do you mean? In the in the in the marker room? <sighs> You're right. You are right. We could get a med case there. We also have to get out alive. Still got a little bit to go to level 20. Um. All right. Is there any other quest we're doing at the same time? Delivering the pass we can do. We don't have the 114k. Custom. Uh, we got the 110. No. Do we have any keys hidden in these? No. 105's got our best bet then. For cash. Actually, no, because then we don't... We go 214 or 204... Let's go 204 because it's got a weapon cra uh, box in there too. It's 214. We can have extra money because of the bed on the table. Uh, 214. 214. Right. Let's go. We have to get first there. We have to get first there. This is not going to be going well. It's in taxed. Thanks for three months. Dank wizard. Ah, uh, thanks for six months. Gertie, Gertie, take off your shirty. Worst spawn? Ah, uh, not really. It's a, it's it's probably third third best for this side. If there's a player on the left here, I'm gonna know about it though. We're pre-meeting because I want to try and not get interfered as I'm running to the marked room. See, that that was the player that spawned right here. He's already up ahead of me. So he's running for the marked room. You see him running there. There's no way I hit him. He did not drop. I have to be a little bit more careful now because we know the players up ahead. If that was smart, they'd just turn around and clap me. The doors aren't open. I heard the window smash then, so... Do we go third? Or do we go... Oh god, this is so fucking stupid. I have to go bottom. It's the only way to do it safely.
I'm so dead here. To be honest, I really want to use that shotgun, but I don't want to use, and I don't want to use this MDR. <sighs> but I don't know how to keep both. I have to go shotgun Mosin. I think that's it. And I have to drop this armor. It sucks. The armor's really nice armor too. Actually, no, I can keep the armor. I go like that. I go like this. That goes there. That goes there. So what do I have to get rid of now? That. A little bit of med. Sure, we didn't miss anything. Wasn't hiding anything on us. I'm so close to enough to use the uh, car track, but but not enough. I need seven thousand. Worth the dick around.
Radar is okay? What do you mean? Mine's working perfectly. What's yours like? Can you not use this secure container? No, I can't. I hate shoreline. Always cheated. stash back here. I can't remember. No. I started up a red Reddit thing where people would, could submit when they thought they died to a cheater. And the ca you were categorized as, it was categorized as cheater, suspect, like suspicious, or you're fucking shit. And I let the community vote on each one. And you'd be surprised how many weren't obvious cheaters and a lot of them were like, you made noise before you fucking died and they pre-fired it. I said I spent a few months away from Twitch, but now I'm back. I'm glad I, I can have some hardcore Pest 3 to watch. Next, my next prom sub is yours, of course. Dude, thanks so much. Welcome back. We missed you. One thing I really like from um, Sheriff Eli's stream is every time someone subs, they do the salutes and they go, One of us. One of us. <laughs> I always, I always feel like, if you're this like, if you're a member of the community, you, you say good day from time to time. Um, you know, you, you you talk with the other people and all that. I always feel like you're a part of the community and sub or not sub, you leave a, for a long time and come back. Once you're one of us, you're stuck. You're stuck here, mate. <laughs> one of us. One of us. Even if you don't talk, even if you're just like a long time lurker, just like hanging out here and being a part of the banter. Shout out to those lurkers in the background, hidden, lurking away. The unsung heroes of Twitch.
feel like every item I need more. The only thing I could get rid of is a grenade, but... Grenades are nice also, you know? Do we need more bolts? I think we do. Oh, you know what I just realized? You know what I just realized? Surviving this raid, I'm going to go back there and I'll be full stash and I won't have anywhere to put all this shit. I don't have to worry about that in a minute. Come on, that had to have hit him in the head. me. Uh, that can't be extra camping. That, I suppose how late in the... We're like 15, 20 minutes in. They weren't making any noise. They weren't walking around there. I'm going to make them work for it. Tell you that. I'm going to make them work for it. Seven B T one. That's pretty good pen, isn't it? It's really good pen, isn't it? Or is that the really high damage? Very high, sweet. I don't want him to shoot at me. Don't shoot at me. I'll give away my position if that happens. I don't know what to do here. He's heading towards me. No, he's not. He's trying to find me. See, they're trying to find me. I can't see over that, unfortunately. I don't really know how to get more out, more height. So get back. This might work. Why do I have the wobble? Do I have... I'm not hurt or anything.
Fight with the nade? I've already used my nade. I had one nade. Alright, what's pre-med? I'm so dirty that my nade went so far. How much does that look like a body there? Is that a body? Surely not. Why couldn't my nade just fucking spud in? I hope I fucked up his armor already. You know the p funny part is? This would be extremely exhausting walking like this. Crouched, aiming down your sight, all this weight on. Trying to hold a steady aim. This would be like the most brutal thing to do in real life. Yet like barely draining my stamina. I don't see the blood mark on the wall, I just see that. Alright, there's one. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Now they were like, Johnny! I don't know what we're in Europe. Hunt! Hunt! Hot my gear, Hunt! We can't dare lose it, we're extra campers! The bag! Just grab, chuck it all in the bag and just hide the bag somewhere! Hunt! Shut up, Hunt, I'm trying to find him! Because they're both named Hans, because everyone's named Hans over here. Oh, oh, I know the play. I know the play. If they're not camping the extract, this could work. This could work. A little bit risky. Now, I don't really know what's inside this building here.
You have to spawn in on the right. He hasn't looted the gear yet. My fear is if I get flanked from there. So if I go here, crouch and lean. It doesn't really work. We've only got 10 minutes, guys. Oh, what if... Oh. Now we're talking. No room for the gear. This is principle now, guys. This is 100% principle. Is that an AK? And that helmet. Uh, if I die, who gives a fuck? If I survive and kill this motherfucker, then we've done the principle of uh, pitching that bit of shit a lesson. And the good thing is we hit him. So if I hit him in a limb, his limb's blacked out. If I hit him in the armor, his armor's fucked.
What's the most amazing part about all this? Is no one else has walked past here. No one's gone, Hey! There's a buddy geared in the middle of the road! I wonder what this is! Like, no one's... No one's come past here at all. I wish I can get obs into that doorway. If I go along here, I'm fucked. If I go underneath the fence, they'll hear me coming. I suppose we've got to do what we've got to do, hey? Can you see inside there from the scav tower? Yes, you can. All right. Shotguns reloaded. Can see in there. Yes. Oh, that painkillers is going to be godly. Uh. Where did he go? Oh, you, you no! Don't you fucking run off with my loot! Cause got PRS ammo. Can I take back my other gun? I reckon the other guy's extracting. I actually think the other guy's extracting. Nope. Maybe not. I 
Thomas Funk. Thomas Funk. Oh, he's pushing me. Yes. Oh. We can use this PRS ammo. It's not that big a deal. What he doesn't know, though... So I'm actually going to go get myself some, uh, some painkillers. Where the fuck's the super scav going? Is he wearing a backpack? Fuck, well, not searching that here. What the fuck's in his backpack? Because we have so much room for this shit. Here, Sam, we're so dead. Anyway, shooting down out of these windows.
So I, I, I think they're just going to go camp the extract now. Yep. One's over there. They might have already gone down. This is where a grenade would be epic. Mm. I think they extracted. I don't really have time to go back. Kinda do. <laughs> Three minutes and a drink. No, I'm out of hydration. If I wasn't out of hydration, I'd do it. Because I'm, I'm, I'm going to take heaps of damage from sprinting with the blacked out leg. And I'm going to um, be taking damage from hydration. Which would have just fucked me. I would have had like no health by the time I ran back there. And I would have had to walk back with, with no... Uh, you know. That sucks so much. <sighs> it was a good raid. It was a fun raid. But it kind of sucked. <laughs> PRS ammo. It was a frustrating raid. Exactly, Shocker. I totally agree. I really wanted to get that AVS rig. And I lost my MPX. Oh, man. Oh, man. That's the two in dorms, and that's the other guy I headshot. Damage to armor. Do you reckon those last two were the teammate of that guy? Or they were just two guys heading towards extract? Moist. Random. It really shows what a hardcore raid can be like, hey? Uh, that was fun. That was fun. Grims is in. Grims is uh, keen to do the tournament. Sick. Grims is a legend. Grims killed me once. He probably doesn't even know. Back when I was a nobody. I was trying to get into the uh, resort. And I... Um, and uh, I was r running in. And then he, uh, he shot me as I ran in. What a jerk. How many cats do I have? Six. Six. Oh. Alright. I'm gonna sell. I, I'm guessing I can sell that. Nope. I'll sell the fence. I'm gonna sell that because it's just taking up room for now. At least you got a big backpack. Because that's what we need. More loot. 
I wanted the AVS rig so I could put it in my stash and have storage. Now I have to go in with either a gun full of PRS ammo. Oh man. Oh man. Did we even get anything of use? Like at all? <laughs> I don't think we did. We're just gonna have to sell shit. I don't even need these batteries. I don't need any of this. I want my alerts are off again. Uh, Roasted Chicken. Mick, thanks for the five months, dude. Hi, Dad. Love the hardcore series, but do you... Moist. But how do you interact with a second item while you're healing and drinking? So, right-click and click Use, and then whilst you're doing that, then you can, like, reload a mag. Or if you... Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Oh, we need hydration. I think I had some water there. Yeah. Place fuel in the generator? It already is. There's already fuel in there. All right, what about, um, we can vendor some stuff, but before I do that, all right, we can vendor the 103 key and the 308 key. Uh, unknown key we still need. Cabin key gives us uh, options to get keys. These barter trade items. We need to figure out which ones we need and which ones we don't. I don't think I need propane for anything recent, like anything coming up. Propane and motors. Is there anything I need propane and motors for any any time? Nope. One. I need one motor. I actually need a few there. Okay, so hold on to that one. Hi. Hello. Oh, we need so many more bolts. Hmm. Order collection? Moist. Gonna take a little bit to get that. Uh, thanks for buying the hoodie. Alright, I don't think I need wrenches at all. So wrenches can go. I know I picked up a few of them recently, so. I didn't see anywhere I needed propane. So propane, you're off. You're off the menu. And you're easy to get anyway. I know I need toolkits. How many drills do I have sitting here? I know I need a couple, so I don't want to waste them. I don't need fleece for anything. Or the cyclone. There's no rush for cyclone. Thermometer can go. CPU can go as well. Uh, repellent you can go for now. LCD, you can go. Another CPU. Broken LCD can go. Cool, this should open up a bit of space.
I know we need elite pliers later and circuits, so I'm going to hold them to them. Definitely need the bolts, the wires. I know we need a lot of helixes. Don't sell the gauge. Why? What's the gauge used for? All of these can go. Lavatory. You're right, we do need two. That's alright. Um, so do we go for Mark's room again? What a roller coaster that turned into. I could probably take in... I'm holding control. Let me split it. If I took in like seven, one, two, three. Oh my God. In game. Then I could just always take that extract. And there's only 7,000 if I die. Jeff Boy, yeah. Cody, thanks for seven months, dude. Hirsch, sure, fun. Thanks for the uh, 15 for the kids. Love the hardcore gaming. Greetings from Austria. Thanks, dude. Stick those MPX mags in a mag box. Righto, champ. You just fucking pull a mag box down to your ass and give it to me then. All right. We're good. Let's do it. Let's do it. I feel like we've got too much meds. Too much meds. Too many minerals. All right, we're going. I got 2k21 last night, start in easy mode and enjoy, move up as you improve. Really, I um, I did the tutorial and it says, what difficulty do you want to play in? And I put it on the hardest because it said, the most realistic. And I was like, yes, I want to play realistic golf. It's just me getting frustrated and smashing my mouse against the desk. You've been to Warnable? I've got family in Warnable. If you had been using the MPX, probably would have been would have killed those kids. There's actually a pretty good chance I would have, yeah. But I'm looking forward to diving back into Duckle. Oh. Thanks for the four months. Also, sheer uh, links. Thanks for the five with the studs. Let's smash. Thanks for the T1. You live in South Australia?
fuck off. Not going to save the leg in time. Going to heal the arm first. That's close. Oh. <laughs> so lame. Was he at the... I thought he was at the top of the staircase. He was already up on the balcony. Window? Meister. Where was he? Uh, 58 beats, thanks to 1,000 biddies, bro. D-Rock, thanks to the four months. So, my strategy then was I was running up, I was quickly going to check to see if the car was there, and then I was going to go uh, in through the window or the bottom floor, but... Instead, I just got fucking uh, nades banned from the roof. He was geared. He had 762 by 39 BP. Right. Well, I guess we have room again. Um, well, what other items are we after? Relays. We could go tech stores on interchange. Try and grab a relay. Moist. Well, at least you don't have to figure out how to pack all the shit in the stash. Mm. True. Or, we go reserve. If we go reserve, we're taking our reserve key. Let's go reserve. Oh, I've got to stop that bleed. We out of bandages, are we? Let's go reserve. We might be able to get a Vaseline as well. Just keep running. Just keep running. Just keep running. How you going, Amanda? Faster, Chad. Faster. Sounds like Elmo when I say it. It sounds... When Amanda says it, it sounds... Sexual. I don't know the word I would use. It sounds better than me.
Hmm. How long has he been on? Um, I've been in live two and a half hours. Got milk. Might try and make this a shorter raid if I can. Uh oh. I don't want it to be that short. I don't know the num number for. Okay. That's not it. Нихуя никак вообще. You can't be trusted, chat. in the rules don't you get fucking worked up at me chat it's in the rules oh yeah thanks to the t3 sub the rule state no help Did you, did I? In the rules. <laughs> oh, I shot just a little bit low. I would have been able to get him if I got him in the head. And calm me, chat. And calm me. Get out. You're all banned. You're all banned. Moist. Say his name. Apparently, I hit that last guy twice. How did I? That that first guy. That first guy had had no health. He came in. And he had no help at all because apparently I, I did a headshot to him, right? But I only did 28 damage, so he, he came in with no help. He deserved to die. You could have played with him? No. no. I did him a favor. I did him a favor.